Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It's still Thursday, June 27, 2019. I'm the Drunk Poker. It's beer time. Beer time. So tomorrow, there's a new beer coming to Nickelbrook. Now, normally, I just go on Friday and pick it up after work. I'm off tomorrow. It's Friday. I shouldn't be off, but I'm off. I'm going to enjoy it and embrace it. So I thought to myself, I'm going to stop by and just ask, hey, can you do a brother a favor? And Tony, who's a wonderful human being, said, of course, Paul. Because they're nice folks at Nickelbrook. Ask and ye shall receive. New beer dropping Friday, June 28th. Party Dad, a crushable IPA. They put crushable on the front. That's going to piss off some, some haze boys. I, I don't care. Crushable. I love it. You know why I love it? Because that's what it is, man. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, Session IPA, 38 IBUs, 3.5% ABV. Now, they use Pilsner malt, wheat flakes, wheat malt, Galaxy, Citra, and Wakatu. Hops and London Fog Ale. Now, I looked up London Fog Ale, and it's used for New England-style IPAs. It's actually the go-to from White Labs. Um, I don't know if that's where they got it from. I'm just saying that's what I found on the thing. Um, obviously, barley. Yeah, too. But Galaxy and Citra, big fan. Uh, Pilsner Malt. So, I, you know what? I'm looking for... Also, I mean, the artwork is cool. I, I would have been a party dad. My, my dad was a party dad. My, my, my parents threw legendary parties. My father is still quite the party. You cannot keep up with Papa Polk. <laughs> so thank you, Tony, again for, for doing me a solid just because I knew I wouldn't have time to come out tomorrow and I didn't want to wait till Saturday. You know what? It's good to have friends. You be nice to people, people be nice to you. That's what I keep telling people. I got dirt in my glass already. Jeez, I can't have this. Why can't I get my, my original Nickelbrook glass? So getting some melon, mango, nice light citrus, maybe some lemon. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, cheers, my friends, to new releases on the long weekend. Oh, yes. Cheers. Hello. As my dad would say. Be nice, don't be yourself. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's actually a nice beer. You no, know he says that to me because I used to get upset about stuff and freak out. And he said, be nice, don't be yourself. So he wanted me to think about what I was going to say. Usually I would sleep on things and feel different the next day. This one, I don't got to sleep on it, and you shouldn't either. Go pick it up this weekend. Very nice, very crushable. So, again, you're getting that smooth mouthfeel, that kind of New England-style IPA mouthfeel. Um, also mouthfeel, I know people don't like that word. Crushable and mouthfeel in the same same video. Beautiful. I love it. Just got to find a way to fit Crispy Boy in there, too, and everybody. Uh, but anyways, no, it's not Crispy Boy. Um, it's nice. So it is not... Orange. There's a touch of orange in there and a little bit of grapefruit, um, some pine on the back end. Very soft, nice bitterness on the back end, but soft, not sharp. Um, getting some melon, some papaya, definitely some lemon zest. It's a nice, crushable patio pint. I do not understand that word, the hatred of the word crushable. I swear to God, I'm going to brew a beer and call it crushable and just that's going to be my thing. Um, what it means is is that it's a, it's an easy drinking beer. Now, I'm actually appreciating the flavors of this, but I know, why did I buy four? Because I didn't have to buy four. I could have bought one. I mean, it's Nickelbrook. I'm always going to buy four. I, I have, there's a lot of brews like that. You release an IP, I'm going to buy four and some other styles. You know, Pilsner's, well, there's a lot of styles. Yeah, Stouts, Imperial Stouts, Bourbon Barrel. It, it goes on. But I'm going to buy them. Why? Because I'm going to drink one. I'm going to think about it. And I'm going to put these other couple, two in my fridge, because I'll finish two to do the video and the picture. But I'll put the other two in the fridge just to pull out when I want. Like, I picked up a wicked awesome IPA, Lost in Orbit, and I had stock IPA, just because I like to have some Nickelbrook IPAs in my fridge for that time when I'm ready, you know, just to have a beer, and that's what this is for. It's it's nice. You're going to enjoy it, and if you like hazy IPAs that are not just juice bombs, it's juicy, but it does lean, it's got that nice bitter pith on the back, it's, it's a lot of pith, actually, the pith is really standing out now. But I think the Pilsner malt body really helps it. It, it delivers that easy going, that, that nice, lighter body. And then you get that New England style smoothness. Balanced together, 3.5%. Doesn't feel like it. And that's something that you can enjoy this weekend. Canada Day long weekend. Head to Nickelbrook tomorrow. Pick some up because it probably won't last the weekend. I mean, it might, but it might take a chance, right? Cheers, my friends. Party dads out there everywhere. This is when the real summer kicks off. Dad's are gonna be doing cannonballs and drinking beers and watch me do this and pull my finger. Always pull his finger. Cheers. Maybe you shouldn't. On second thought, don't. Just ah, you know what? He's a good dad. Give him a laugh. 